Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing some more Historic Brawl with Dovin Bon. Um, and it is a four mana commander, a planeswalker in blue and white, with a plus one that says until your next turn, up to one target creature gets minus three, minus zero, and its activated abilities can't be activated. Minus one, you gain two life and draw a card. And then minus seven, you get an emblem with your opponent can't untap more than two permanents during their net during their untap steps. So, um, is it better than Teferi? Probably not, but Teferi is in Hellcu, and Dovin Bon goes up against much different opponents, I think, than if your commander were Teferi Hero of Dominaria. So, uh, the deck is very similar to what you might see in Teferi. Lots of counterspells, uh, so if you enjoy making your opponent's life miserable, then this may be one for you. Uh, if you can't stand counters and despise everything blue-white, then uh, this one's not for you. <laughs> um, but some of the win cons of the deck, I won't go over every card. Some of the win cons, though, are the Shark Typhoon, which is uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create XX blue shark creature token with flying, where X is that spell's mana value. Um, so obviously when we cast things like a Seagate Restoration, for example, we create a 7-7 seven, seven shark uh, if we have the Typhoon on the field. Another win con is just... Basically making your opponent quit uh, because you can do fun things like, um, I don't know, for example, play Gale's Redirection, which is a very fun counter spell. Uh, it says exile target spell, then roll a d20 and add that spell's mana value. Uh, 1 to 14, you may cast the exiled card for as long as it remains exiled, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast that spell. Meaning for basically just casting this, you get to cast whatever spell you countered. Uh, and then if you roll a 15+, plus, you can cast the Exiled card without paying its mana cost for as long as it remains Exiled, which is very fun. Um, and then you can do things like play the Cyber Siphoner, uh, which has Flash, and it says this spell costs two less to cast if there are no instants or sorcery cards in your hand. When it enters the battlefield, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. So you can use this to get back your, say, River's Rebuke, your Gale's retro uh, Redirection, um, any other instant or sorcery card, of which there are many, uh, from the graveyard to your hand. And then when this dies, it gets shuffled into your library, <laughs> so you can keep playing it, uh, which is kind of fun. And then, of course, the Torrential Gear Hulk, similar thing, Flash, when it enters the battlefield, you can cast target instant uh, card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost, uh, if it would be put into the graveyard exile instead, so you can flash in the Gear Hulk and maybe counter something with the redirection and then play that card. You could also do things like discover the formula, which is seek three non-land cards, then non-land cards in your hand perpetually gain the spell cost one less to cast. So when you have a full hand, you just smash down a discover the formula, and then you gear hulk and discover the formula again. Everything is very cheap. Um, yeah, that's the deck. I uh, hope you all enjoy the games. If you do, please leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you in the video. All right. I'm going first. Opponent, a fan of the First Law series, apparently, by Joe Abercrombie. Fantastic taste. Highly recommend that series. Alright. Mm. We can land tax him. Scry for land. Signet. Land on top is a keeper. Yeah, very, very good series. Hold Duru with Thunderhead. Zavala. Let's take action here. All the land. Hmm. <laughs> Too much land now. I thought you're only making it worse. And this is add X mana in any combination of colors where X is the greatest power among creatures you control, which now is the sliver. I get a black market connection. Pretty good. Climb. Alright. So much land. Hmm. 
Is it Buster or just Flow of Knowledge here? Or draw a card and look for the Sweeper. Ooh. Rebuke is very good. Rebuke is very, very good. Alright then. Play the Buster. Pass. We can do some crazy things here. And let's see if they, uh... See what they've got. Okay. Tommy War. Rude. Let's see what they target. Open. These results are an anomaly not to be repeated. Okay. Back in for seven. Five mana. Rebuke should set them back a decent amount. Ornithopter. Ornithopter. Not or Eden. Whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> Alright. Draw card. Search for his Kanta. Decline this. Find the land anyway. Buke. Be gone. Here comes Savala. And Cold Steel Heart again. Two, four, six. <clears throat> I think we actually do this to thin our deck. Siphoner. Into a rebuke. <laughs> or do we just take their Silvala? Could also just flow of knowledge. Let's do that. Sliver time. Nickel <laughs> bolas. All right. I will discard a land. Am I supposed to siphon her to get our rebuke back? Temporal Sundering, huh? That one. Now I feel like that is the play. Wait. Uh, spell cost two, let's cast no instance or sorceries in hand. When it enters the battlefield, return target and insert sort of card your graveyard to your hand. If it would die, shuffle it. Okay. Rebuke, please. Failure. Yeah, we'll take that. Rebuke him again. Binding, huh? Land in the bin. Transform. <laughs> Snapcaster mage. What do we have down there? We have failure again? <laughs> I 
Not enough to play Dovin and Snapcaster and Failure. So let's just draw with the Buster here. A brazen Borrower, huh? Send that back. Typical bolus. <laughs> Failure. Here comes a Modi, but we have counters. We'll keep. Ooh, no turn one elf. Love to see that. Signet, do we slow him down? I think we can borrow her this. Make him replay. Let's let them slow their roll just a bit here. Do they have the land? They do. If they didn't, let's see, one, two, three, four. Modi next turn. I actually think we just bounce this signet again and then play Dovin. Hmm, <laughs> excuse me. And I think we just go for the moon. I almost feel sorry for you. Let's see if they have a way to remove this. In Emoti, I don't think they do. There's the land. There's the Fortel. I'm just gonna go for the ultimate. I'm greedy. Surely you knew this would happen. There's the Emoti. Let's see what they cascade into. Hmm. Sacrifice the land, you say. Alright. Counter. So now there's only one thing to loss on to. Plus here. Your options are decreased. Play Gadwick for two, keeping the miscast open for their all runs epiphany. Let's see if they have a bounce spell for this. If they do, it would be unfortunate. We are oh so close to the ultimate. Could go for a River's Rebuke, if they have it. Epiphany. Uh, token. Draw two cards. Return permanent. No. Tap you. Mana float. If they have a counter spell. <laughs> Obnixilis, huh? I'm going first. Hmm. Alright. So they go for Ob, uh, maybe, here? Ooh. Cast things at instant speed. Spicy. We need to find land. So I would love to augury here. Into a Valky. Or... Nothing to see here, just a bunch of counter spells. 
see if they still want to play. Alright. Double tap lands, you hate to see that. Right. We have a counter spell though, a hard counter. So sack, one, two, three, not enough to play it at instant. Other land is fantastic. They find their red. Valky gets in there. Let's draw. Uh, we want to keep this counter spell. Ah, uh, we have a better one. Let's draw two. Because then we can play Dovin backed up. Nice. Go for Dovin here. They probably kill it. Let's make them have it. Let's see how you stand up to scrutiny. Pile on, huh? Counter that. Now we don't have to discard. You're only making it worse. And then we can Pact of Negation them. Ooh, Citadel. No. Nope. Well, that will do. Going first, keep. We need to add more lands to this deck. Mill three cards. If at least one zombie card is milled this way, each opponent loses two life. Not very nice. Let's go, Signet. Online permanent. Hate to see that. Though they can Liliana next turn. So it's going to have to be the borrower. Crawling Barons. All the man lands. See if they want to do it into open mana. Alright, let's borrow this. Then we have the denial next turn. Painful. Land tax will fix our lands after we counter whatever comes out here. <laughs> Wrath of God. I can play Dovin. No counter spells to back up though, feels bad. What do they do? Just come in with the hive, so we click plus. I can read your flaws like an impudent. Let's see if they just jam Liliana here. Might be thinking about a wash away. Eh? Yeah. But I think it's very hard for people to not attack down planeswalkers, so see what they do. Yeah. I don't like it. Alright. But I accept defeat. It's a thirst. To a ghoulish procession. Land tax.
Boss's intervention uh, will make them pay four more for whatever they try and cast here. Uh, discard, create two, two. Okay. Taxes. Now we get a bunch of land. Yes. Take all the action. Now we draw land, look. Oh, wash away. No, that's really good, actually. Could replay Dovin. Could just... Gadwick. Or two, because all we really care about is stopping their commander, I think, right? Celestis and Temple. Discard the planes. Alright. Wrath of God looking nice. The Sharknado. Um, we can do this and also Wrath of God. Curse. Yeah. Two two acquired. counters. I need to go get Wrath of God back. We'll duck from the opponent. Zombie down. That's a good one. Leave up mana for the wash away. We're gonna have to figure out these lands at some point. I think first we need to get the Shark Typhoon down. Then we might be able to ambush with either the Siphoner or the Great Shark. I was just trying to do cool zombie things. We're over here being a nuisance. Ooh! Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Two, three, four. And our siphoner doesn't die. All right, we pass then. I think we like our hand. So we want to flash in the Siphoner, block the Puppet Razor, uh, get Sunfall back so that the Siphoner dies, goes back into our deck instead of getting exiled. No! Well, that's rude. We need that Sunfall. Do 
Oh, Juka bog me. Very rude indeed. Alright, well now they know what's coming. Let's see if they play more into it. We can also flash in the shark and take out their hive. They're bringing in the hive. All right. Could also activate the token, but I think we want that to block later. Okay. The problem with that is they have removal. So let's do it like this. Need to get rid of that land. Siphon is still around. Also not fantastic. Then I guess that means we go for Dovin here. So let's flash in the borrower. Or Typhoon. No, it's Dovin. You have far too many shortcuts to be considered. You can't possibly be this stupid. The Juka Bog. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, uh, when it enters the battlefield, exile graveyard. Feels bad. Dovin, though, on the battlefield. Also forgot to attack with our borrower, because it can't block. So. That was an oopsie. Uh, let's actually go with the wash away. This is the cheaper one, but I think we want to save the Veto in case they have something like Invoke Despair that could blow up our Typhoon. Although I guess we could do the land tax, but still. Alright. Ooh, all in. That draws them cards, so that goes. They can't take uh, action. Up at Razor, finding them all sorts of cards. Uh, I think we get the Typhoon on the field. Could play the One Ring. But if we do that, we tap out, and then they resolve their commander. Alright. Zombies to the moon. Big damage here. Gotta be Sunfall here. I think. Ooh. Commit is interesting. Seven, seven. Five mana up, so we can Great Shark, and it's uh, when it enters the battlefield, counter target artifact or creature spell. Liliana, huh? Let's send that away. Try again later.
No max hand size. Love that for us. This will be all too easy. Such weakness is amusing. <laughs> Shark gets in. Could bring out the 7-7, seven, seven, but I think we let Dovin take the 1. Let me just read this again, actually. Whenever a creature is dealt damage by this turn, oh, whenever it dies, create a 2-2. Two, two. Alright. So Liliana on top, we can shuffle that away with the uh, memory. They do get the Agadim's Awakening and the Hive back in. So they kill our shark, create a bunch of tokens. I think we counter that because I'm planning on just going memory anyways. Alright, well, that will do. Alright, Pono goes first on Sliver. Rebuke is interesting. Supreme Will to counter Sliver. Let's see how fast they ramp. Squeaky, squeaky. There's the druid. We know about our pact of negation now. Supreme Will Online. We'll see what they cascade into. And it is... Black Market Connections. Alright. So it's Supreme Will onto the Sliver. Thin the deck out. Can they cast it again here? Two, four, two, four, five, six, seven, two, four, five. No, they can't. All right. Make that nice and expensive. World tree. To go loose. Could counter that, but we're not doing anything next turn. Not doing anything next turn if we counter it, because we have to pay five. All right. Is so let them do their cascady stuff. They may even want to spin the wheel, but we're probably just going to rebuke next turn. Huh? Wrecked. <laughs> Absolutely wrecked. Oh. That's sort of like a rebuke, isn't it? Impudent. All right. Gonna spin that wheel.
Alright, what you got? Displace your kitten. Be gone. Flow of knowledge, huh? Draw a card. Swords to plowshares. Alright. Cascade into Nickel Bolus, huh? One, two. The one ring. Nice. Advantage mine. Let's draw that card. I think we want to exile Golos. Discard the land to the bolus. Hmm. Okay. I was incorrect. Go ahead and gloat. This is gonna be a very uphill battle. Cruelty of Gix, you say. Chapter one. Know about the swords now. So I don't know that they'll Oh, okay. Bolus comes in. Halfway goes. Wash away and commit, huh? Wash away and commit. I kind of think it's commit. Do we give them this? No. And do we swords? Also no. I consider, I find Wrath of God. Get him dead. Let's see what they come up with here. So, in response to hand hate, we can uh, brainstorm and hide the cards. Golos. Probably going to be our swords. They have enough to spin the wheel. So let's see if they play something else. Into Teferi. Sword you. Could return this to hand. Let's brainstorm now. Want the untapped land on top? I longer stand by and watch. 
Alright. So they get Bolus with the Cruelty of Gex, potentially. Could also just commit to Fairy, and then everyone gets to draw cards. Yeah, let's do that. It opens Veto. Alright. Plenty of stuff to discard here. Don't really need Hall of the Storm Giants at this moment in time. Alright, transform. There are none greater than I. Gonna have to find a solution to that. Uh, two deals ten damage. Alright. They take draw two. Is endless. Play to fairy. Let's counter that. Redraw. Lovely. All right. One, two, three, four. Probably should have been this as well. If they find their thought distortion again, I'm going to cry. Arn's temporal sundering, you say. No, says I. These are both looking pretty bad. Almost at 11. Exile all but the bottom card of target player's library. Need to find a solution to this, like now. Nickel Bolas God Pharaoh. Into Spell Pierce. Cool. Fading Hope doesn't do it. Alright. Gotta find it here. Partition. Nope. Well, I guess we have one more turn, don't we? Alright. Show them what's up. I will make you suffer! One, two, three... Well, actually... Four... And I need a fading hope. All right. Draw to you. I know what must be done. Got to stop that ultimate. Vorn Clex. Freaking Vorn Clex. Alright. 
Let's just hard counter. See what they cascade into. All runs Epiphany, huh? Make that more expensive. All right, come on. There's got to be a planes <clears throat> planeswalker answer in here somewhere. Start with a draw five. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right. So it's borrower here. Show them what's up. Then we want to have Sublime Epiphany up. So... Can't dove in and do that, right? Let's just play the Buster. In the turn. Toss away this and the land. Ravager, again. Counter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just enough for the epiphany. Gotta let all this stuff resolve. <clears throat> no! Counterspell, return permanent, create a token, and draw. Let's return the Celestis. Rift is interesting. We're going to die to our own ring if we're not careful now. On to 12. Let's draw first. Studies. Wrath. Seek new knowledge. All right. None of it's great, is it? Let's get in there. We're gonna have to rift our own... No, it's one we don't control. Yeah, that's not great, is it? Alright. Studies can go. Wrath we may need. Land, land, land. Sunfall is actually better than Wrath, isn't it? That's five. Land makes six. Land in the bin. Need to put a stop on their end step. We need to get rid of our ring. <laughs> Oh, it's at 14, though. I didn't realize. So, maybe it's time to get the, uh, the borrower cooking. Ooh, your Hulk is very good. Love knowledge can go. Fight rigging. Oh, interesting. Uh, 
I think we're discovering the formula of the Gear Hulk. How many cards do we have left? 43. 64. <laughs> All right, combat we go. Yeah, damage matters. Connections. All right, let's do this first. Let's go with the, well actually, we can return the ring with the epiphany. Let's do that. So counter spell. Uh, return this to me. Make another gear hulk and draw cards. So wait, what? Oh, return permanent. All right, we got him. So <laughs> we were going to return their fight rigging. We're going to create a token that's a copy of the gear hulk, which is not legendary, so the ability would trigger again. Actually, no, I'm sorry. We are going to counter the black market, return the ring, create a token that's a copy of the Gear Hulk, which would make, obviously, another one. Then we were going to draw two cards, but before that, this uh, the second copy ETB would trigger. We we're going to go get Discover the Formula, seek three non-land cards, reduce the cost of everything in our hand by one, uh, and then go from there. And probably, actually, Memory Deluge as well. So, yeah, that would have been a good turn. Nice. All right, welcome back to the post-game deck overview. That was our Dovin Bon Historic Brawl Control deck. Uh, we went 11 and 8, uh, played for about two hours. There have been two versions of the deck. The only difference is um, in version 2, we removed Mana Tithe and added Land Tax um, because I felt like we were missing land drops a lot. So the solution, I think a little bit more obvious solution, would be to cut probably, I would say, four cards uh, because we run 40 lands currently, I think we need to take that number up to 44. So cutting things, I think, like potentially discover the formula, as much as I hate to say it, the Great Shark, um, potentially flow of knowledge as well, uh, and then maybe even the Buster, although I really like the Buster, so maybe the Intervention, um, I'm not sure, something like that. Uh, yeah, so this is a fun deck if you like control. I will say that coming back from when the opponent gets ahead, or if they get ahead, is pretty difficult because the only sweepers we have, we don't even have Farewell. We have Sunfall, we have Verdict, we have Wrath of God, and that is about it. We also have Cyclonic Rift, which can act as a pseudo-sweeper, just bounce everything back to the opponent's hand, as well as River's Rebuke, um, which, I mean, hopefully you find one of those, but uh, when you don't, it feels really bad, so... Coming back from behind is always a struggle here. Um, of course, being on the play, always helpful because you can just kind of counter their stuff and go from there. But uh, yeah, that's the deck. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.